I know some of you feel like you're not strong enough or like you'll never reach your dreams. But trust me, I've been there. I've faced countless obstacles and challenges. People told me I couldn't become a magic knight because I had no magic. But I didn't let that stop me. Every day I trained my hardest. I pushed my body and mind to their limits because I knew I had to become stronger. And I'm here to tell you that you can do it too. It doesn't matter if others doubt you or if the odds are stacked against you. What matters is how much you're willing to fight for your dreams. When you're exhausted, when you're at your lowest, that's when you have to dig deep. Find that fire inside you and keep pushing forward. Ask yourself, what if I can do it? What if I can achieve the impossible? It doesn't matter where you start. What matters is where you're going and how hard you're willing to work to get there. So easy to put things off. So easy to say, you're gonna do it tomorrow. Well, I want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today, you get it done today. That's what you do. Too tired, too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of sparing no one. I killed for dominance and to feed my insatiable pride. But you never thought to kill or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone, even your fiercest enemies, even me. As if you knew I would one day possess this tiny sliver of a soul. How can a saint fight with such power and at the same time be so gentle? It makes me angry just thinking about it. But perhaps it's my anger that's made me blind to the truth for so long. I see it now. You only fight to push yourself. Hang in there, Chatwood. You are number one. I was useless. And Sasuke was so cool, like he'd done this a thousand times. Didn't he feel scared at all? He looked so calm, not a scratch on him. And I was so lame. He had to come up and save me. Ugh, why can't I keep up with them? Hey. Yeah? You're not hurt, are you? Scaredy cat. Mm, why am I so different? I worked so hard to get here, pushing myself until it hurt. Training alone for hours, anything to get stronger, to reach my dream. I will never back down again and let someone else rescue me. I will never run away. Take a moment to think about people who started with nothing. Oprah Winfrey was born into poverty and faced countless setbacks, yet she built an empire by sheer willpower and relentless hard work. Steve Jobs was a college dropout, yet he revolutionized technology with his vision and determination. So why not you? The world wants you to stay in that safe little bubble, to believe that it's enough to just get by. But that's not who you are. You've got more inside you, something that can only be unleashed when you step out of that comfort zone. No matter what it takes, even if it means becoming a devil, I have to push past my limits. Are you going to work out today? Yes or no? Are you going to win? Yes or no? Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate. And you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Everybody will talk about it, everybody will post about it, but nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. And so what that means for me, I don't have to be the most qualified. I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself, and by default, I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. If you set out and you say you're going to do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. 
because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peer. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you because that's your life. You make your bed, you got to lay in it. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. You disappoint me. Asking your opponent for a lesson in the midst of battle. It's shameful. You're a disgrace. Yet you dare call yourself a Saiyan! Now listen, if you quit on me, I will kill you. And once the fight is over, I'm going to blow your stupid planet Sadala to smithereen. Though first, I'm going to hunt down and murder, one by one, every last member of your family. For them, it won't be quick. If you do anything to my home planet, or anything to my family, I will make you pay! You will suffer, Vegeta. That much I can promise you. You bastard! Don't forget that sensation. The best trigger for the Super Saiyan transformation is anger. So hold on to that feeling you just had. Remember this pain and let it activate you. No, it wasn't fair. And maybe you're upset about that. I understand. But that's got nothing to do with destiny. If you think I'm buying that, you're wrong. We are all given a destiny at birth. And it's pointless to fight against it. You don't know what it's like to be branded with a mark that sets you apart. A mark that can never be wiped away! Man, you think you've got troubles? I've got news for you, Neji. You're not the only special one around here. So don't come whining to me with this destiny stuff. And stop trying to tell me you can't change what you are. If I can't get through this, then I'll never become the Wizard King. Right here. Right now. I'm going to push past my limits! Give up? <laughs> there was a time in my life when I might have given up, but that's all behind me now! <laughs> my magic is never giving up! How many of you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, I am doing my best? Because if you can, you're fucking lying to yourself. Your job right now and how you execute that job is going to create the success habits that you're going to need down the road. How you do one thing is how you do everything. If it's making fries, if you ain't making the best motherfucking fries every fucking time, guess what? You ain't gonna fucking make it. If you can't sweep the warehouse floor better than the next guy, you ain't gonna fucking make it. Because here's the truth. Losers always talk about how they hate to lose, but they don't do anything about it. But you know what winners do? Winners will do whatever the fuck it takes. Winners will show up and stay late every fucking day until they're winning. Winners will talk to anybody they can that can help them and take the lessons to heart and put them in play. That's what winners do. You disappoint me. Asking your opponent for a lesson in the midst of battle. It's shameful. You're a disgrace. Yet you dare call yourself a Saiyan! Now listen! If you quit on me, I will kill you. And once the fight is over, I'm going to blow your stupid planet Sadala to smithereen. Though first, I'm going to hunt down and murder, one by one, every last member of your family. For them, it won't be quick. If you do anything to my home planet, or anything to my family, I will make you pay! Suffer, Vegeta. That much I can promise you. See you, bastard! Father, I can't be sure if a person's destiny is like a cloud 
floating on a fixed current that it can't escape. Or if people are able to ride on whatever breeze they choose. I ask you, please give Neji a message for me. Tell him that I wasn't killed to protect the head family, but rather to protect my siblings, family, and village, and by my own free will, forge your own destiny, Neji. Your fate is something you create with your own hands. I get it! You were tricked! You couldn't protect the ones you loved! And everything you once believed in was lost! You're dealing with so many crazy feelings, you can't stand it anymore! But that's why I have to tell you this! Don't you dare give up again! All you've ever done is give up! Instead of facing your problems, you locked yourself away and hid in the darkness because you thought it was the easiest thing to do! You had the guts to make everything else happen, right? You did that! Maybe you weren't chosen, maybe no one wanted you, and maybe you can't be forgiven! But you still have to stand your ground without making excuses for yourself! Losers talk about hating to lose. Losers say they hate to lose. Losers talk about how they want to win. Winners do what the f*** it takes. And that means beating the next guy. If you aren't going to work at your job every day and looking at all the other motherfuckers and thinking, dude, I'm going to beat the shit out of all of you, you don't have what it takes. Winners want to be the best. Winners have pride in being the best. Winners have pride in being dominant amongst their teammates. There was a moment in the middle of combat when you actually said you gave up. Surrender is an outcome far worse than defeat. I won't tolerate that kind of weak behavior from a Saiyan. Never forget what you are, dammit. Where is your Saiyan pride? There's one thing a Saiyan always keeps. His pride! Saiyan pride, what does that mean? It means strength. Oh, well then, I'll try to make myself stronger, just like you. Set your sights higher. You got it. Just when you choose one course, Along comes someone who's picked a different path. One that's devoted to living life to its fullest. There's real strength to be found in that love of life. I finally understand that because of this latest battle. Now, Father, I have only one goal. To become stronger so I won't lose to anyone again. That's what I feel my goal is now. Get a hold of yourself! Stop crying and running away! Doing that isn't going to get you anywhere! I hate myself more than anyone else. I always try to get my act together, but I just end up running away or cowering in fear. I'm pathetic. I want to change. I want to be a capable individual. Do you know what the process of forging a sword is? When making a sword, you hammer and hammer to get rid of impurities and anything else you don't need. The greater the purity of the blade, the more durable it becomes. Mastering even one is cause for celebration. You can only do one thing, hone it to perfection. Work on refining it to its utmost potential.